I need two volunteers. Wait, move me! Move me! Step eight! Move me! Step eight! I said David. Step eight. David's one. A sleeve. Richie, I can't do that. Please don't, please don't answer the question. This is what I feel. I cannot investigate I can't bring myself. Yeah. Please don't have them cut okay. the budget short. It's okay. Nothing going to happen to you because you're a volunteer that I asked for, so you guys are good. All right. I need you guys as quick as possible. We don't have all day to do the meeting. We want to make $100 a sale. Yeah. So you guys need to rip this apart. No, you're oh, kidding. That's you guys need to do this. Way. I could have, I could have wore that, man. Richard, we're the same Yes! Oh. Hey, give me a piece! <laughs> give me a piece! Come on, move on! Give me the pocket! You almost got it! You almost got it! Say it, Marco! 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 You're gonna stab him in the eye. <laughs> wow. Do that? There you go. Okay. I don't want to have to reimburse one of the places, okay? This is like his like, most expensive one. It's like a thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's 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 there you go. Yeah. 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 Do it. Oh. Do it. Oh. 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 Wait, all right. One more time. One more piece. How much more do you need? Yeah. 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 Wait, Get it, David. Come on, Corlin. Get it, David. Wait, they're looking at it. Come on, Corlin. Get it, David. Come on, David. Come on, David. Come on, David. Come on, David. Mufasa is crazy. Mufasa <laughs> is <laughs> crazy. That, yeah, that, that, that could be a, uh, a thing. That's that was, awesome. um, at first you might struggle, but if you keep going at it, eventually it's going to... Do you see how it took him a minute to yeah. break in, right? Yeah. So at first you might struggle, then you might still be good. Okay, what else? Anything no. else you got? Anybody can apply this to the business, maybe, no. this exercise of, of craziness? Might have been faster for you when you used the tools. <laughs> might have been faster when I have more scissors. So using the nah. tool. Ooh, David. Ooh. If you use the tools, you might have been quicker. Not that might not be specifically all true for the blazer, but it's definitely true for the business. Oh, right? If you use the tools, it could definitely help you out. 
Zai? I was saying working together because it took them all a little bit more. What's that? I said working together. Working together, was that quicker? Yeah. Hey, like, you can finish the training by yourself and get a pin at the end of it. I don't know who will give it to you, but you can get a pin that says, I figured it out all on my own. Mm -hmm. You get a little pin of your own, like, I'm just so prideful. Or you can just do it with a team and get there too. Okay, what else, sorry? Uh, the first step is like the hardest one. Like they had the hardest getting into it initially, but once they got that first tear in, they got so much easier. That's super smart. How do you guys think that, what do you guys think that it means Digestible. in the field? If you can do this. Yeah, a lot of it is, hey, you gotta break in. That's why we, we have urgency, and that's why we talked a lot about like, hey, get in the, like, we know if, if you're smart enough, which you guys are, we know this is not your business, your career. You're not going, but we need to know that you can do the hard part first. And that's why we say, hey, go in the field, go quick, go from car rides to the car and sprint. And when I say sprint, like I'm just talking about people sprinting are the ones that, that get to ownership. And um, I've been in the business for five years now in total. And I've only done the field nonstop for the first year and a half, uh, including as an owner. And I'm really happy that I did. You know, even though I wanted to quit so many times, so that's pretty cool. Anybody else? Tyler. Yes, Tyler. I was gonna say it doesn't really have to do with the field, but just don't worry about your t materialistic shit. Materialistic stuff you meant. That's too. Stuff. <laughs> that's what you meant. KG. Cool. Anyone else? Okay, so uh, you guys ready for the next part of the exercise? Yeah. 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 Put it in your pants? Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Do we have to put it back together? Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Some may right. I mean, I'm I'm quiet. 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 No, I, now I need, now we need again volunteers. I got it. Hey, so that. Avon volunteers. Okay, so three volunteers. Avon is volunteers. Step up. So I can tell you for what. Now we need three volunteers and we can do the same with your blazer. Great. Let's go. Volunteers with blazers. Fair enough. Yeah. Are you reimbursing? Oh, wait, I like this one. Like this one. It's, I don't mind this one. It's funny, right? Dijon's like joking. He's not. Isn't it funny? Like he's not. Um, <laughs> we say volunteers, but when it's when it's your blazer, it changes, huh? No. Oh yeah. No. Right? <laughs> so I got a blazer. You can when, when, like jokes aside, right? Like yeah. when, whenever it's like, if we say, "Hey, David, you want to come up here and we can tear up yours," then it's like, it's not the same, right? <laughs> really? Put it in my hands. You really want to do? It? I mean, if we did it, like, we hey, got man, nothing to prove, big dog. I think. I think, um, thanks, thanks for making the point. You know, um, okay, I'm willing to do whatever it takes, but how many people would be willing to come up here and give up their stuff to, so we can rip it apart? Would you have that much fun, you know, on something that you really spent time or money getting? Like, not, not to be offensive, right? But if you really want your us to rip it in, you're an idiot. But don't take offense to that. I think it's 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 good it's going to be funny and all, but like I, I do. Thankfully, I have I, I bought this suit a long time ago, and, and I don't care anymore. But I just want to give you guys a visual of of you know when it's somebody else, isn't it fun? It's somebody else's stuff that we like mess up. We all laugh, kind of have a good time. But what if it was? What imagine if this was? Just imagine the blazer is your car, <laughs> or imagine the blazer is. Because sometimes we get into other people's cars and we don't care. Oh. We leave stuff in there, we leave trash. Is that true? But 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 when if it's your car, it's not as funny, right? Or maybe you're like, well, they, I don't care about my car, but does that mean like the other person doesn't? Because you treat your car like stuff, right? Like like crap. Should we should we do it to everybody else's car? And I think I think attitude changes a little bit when it's like. You know, do you really want us to come up here and, and let's let's tear up your blazer? Let's tear, let's tear up your pants after that. You really want us to do that? All right. Is that is you, you really want to, or you're just trying to be funny, right? And I think I think a lot of you guys, because this is not your business, this is how you treat it. And I I leave uh, sometimes you guys when you guys leave to the field, and I leave how you guys I see how you guys leave stuff. It makes me really sad because I realize like if you don't know you're applying for a position in ownership and you treat it like that and you do this and you know what's the worst part is you're actually doing it to you 
because I can pay somebody to clean the table. You know how many mugs I've thrown away? Not me, but you know how many like shoes and things that people leave behind? And it's just very sad to see, like, like you you do this, this is what you're doing to, some of you guys are doing this to your career. You come in late, or you don't give a crap. The people that are not listening, right, like, we, have, we, send, we send Samuel home, I love Samuel, but like, it's what happens, right, you get promoted to leadership, and then life kicks in, and now I like, it's like I'm allowed to just be this, like, uh, somebody that now I'm sad. Now all my problems matter, right? And we have a lot of fun when it's somebody else's problem, you know? But what if it's yours? It's not as funny, you know? Like I said, I love Samuel. I, I have a lot of patience with people if somebody had it with me. People that, a, a lot of talk, a lot of commitment out of your mouth, but then actions don't follow, right? Well, I'm gonna be this leader, I'm gonna be this person. Two months later, we can't keep, we just can't keep up to our word. And a lot of times we just, this is what happens, man. It happens to your career. And when you, one day you, you wake up and, and, and you just don't have anything, you know? I was reading this book yesterday, it's called 12 and a Half by Gary Vee. Yeah. And the first chapter is called Gratitude. And it talks about like, hey, from one, from, there's 7.7 .7 billion people on earth, right? From, from, the, num from the first one to the 7.7 .7 billion in, in happiness, where would you rank? What number would you say? And then it starts talking about like, hey, did you know that uh, in 2018, just in America, which is the richest country in the world, there was two million people that didn't have plumbing, safe water to drink, and they were undernourished. You know how much you should appreciate like just a job and like, how hard it is for some people to get one? You know how many millions of people live in America without a job? Because they come from Mexico or other countries where they just legit can't have a job and they're happy with anything under the table that you can pay them? They live their entire lives, unfortunately, chastened by, by authorities and stuff like that when all they're trying to do is just feed their kids. And some of us, we just do this. Do this to your career. This is your blazer. And I get it. It's very funny to sometimes see other people, you know, like they do that to their lives and you see it. But not really, you know. I bet we would have got Dijon's blazer here and David's blazer. And it's fun for a little bit, but then they'll be like, damn, I, was, I made a good point. I'm, I'm the funny guy, but where's my blazer now? You know? Oh, you can't wear it to, tomorrow. Guess what? We're going to tell you to wear a blazer. Yes or no? Yes. We're going to care that you lost it? No. It's a cute thing. Oh, we care for you. You guys are all good people. And, and we care for you. I care for you guys a lot. But also, if I, if I coach you like I care, then I'm being a bad coach. You know, if I'm a football coach, and I coach you like, like I really care about your feelings. Are you gonna win the game? No, probably not. No, I gotta coach you to win the game. And when we win the game, we can worry about the feelings. Would you agree? Yeah. Like, hey man, like I know you're sad, but like you gotta pass the ball, man. Yeah. Yeah. Pass the ball. And like, what it, what is sad is like you guys, a lot of people like that took the business opportunity and they come here because they want the growth. They want, but it's all mouth. It's all job raking. And, and really, like, I wonder what we, you would do at other jobs, you know? I wonder, like, how many people would last more than three months at a job where you can't keep your word. Or, what are you doing, like, if this is the way, if you're actually serious about this, and you're like, this is the, you really want to do this, and you're trying to be an owner, would you agree? You guys just saw Tracy and Alante, like, literally just leave, right? How do you think you need to treat somebody else's place before you get your own? What do you guys think? As if it was your own. You gotta treat it as if it was your own. So a lot of times, you know, what, what we do and what you guys will start doing as you grow a team, you'll start noticing this and you'll get less and less frustrated with people because there's only, you just gotta do one simple thing is you gotta listen to what people say, watch what they do. Listen to, that's what I do. I listen to what you say and I watch what you do. And then if what you do doesn't match, then I stop trying to explain myself why nothing's working you know I've seen people with three four kids 40 years old enough be less mature than Avon because they're 40 years old and I've seen people still make excuses why they don't have they blame their kids I've seen people blame their kids why they can't have a job I mean how far is that gonna get you 
can't give up on the kid. So you might as well learn to work around that, right? So all I'm talking to you guys today about is like, hey, like how do you treat things? How do you treat your opportunity? This is not your office, I understand, right? How do you treat it? How do you treat, when you see something underground, do you pick it up? When you see a table that's messy, what do you do? When you see an interview, do you act like it's like yours? Like somebody walks in here, should you act like it, this is your company? How do I want them to be received at my company? That is that not taking ownership? And that's what we're looking for, guys. We're looking for people like, hey, we know, there, people always get over this. If nobody's ever been an owner that's like, well, they were going to be a great owner, but they just couldn't, like the sales didn't work out. No, never, it's never happened. The sales is never the problem. The sales is just, I was explaining it to uh, entry level earlier. The sales is just at the front of the gate because it's what will produce more people to leave because sales makes you be accountable. Like, can you have a day where the territory's wrong? I disagree, but let's say yes, right? Can you have two days? Yes, but you can't have a whole week. You can justify a couple zeros or ones with, hey, it was the territory, but not the week. Does that make sense? Like, hey, you can, you can lose, a, like, let's say a basketball team, right? Like, you can lose a game or two, but it's to the best of seven, right? If it's 4-0, man, you lost on their side, on yours, you just lost. Would you agree? Yeah. yeah. You can have a bad day once, maybe twice, but it's not like, you know, like, that's what, that's what sales does. That's what the field does, is that it puts you against whatever the reason is, and you either get over it or not. But, and that's why it's at the beginning. We're, we're just looking for people that like, hey, look at how you're treating stuff. When you get in somebody else's car, you hear you see the comments I hear sometimes about people. Like, hey, if I'm talking to somebody else in the office and I'm, I'm saying a negative to them, like, oh, I wanna quit. Do you know you're hurting that person's upline? Because you're, you're, that person's upline, because you're planting a seed in somebody's brain and you might not be serious about it. But Esmeralda has a, a kid, two kids. She doesn't have time to waste to hear somebody else's bad story. We say it at the beginning, hey, negatives, share it with your upline. Like Devin said it perfectly. Negatives, your upline, chances are your upline's been through them. So if you genuinely want to fix it, you wouldn't share it with your buddy or with somebody that's, if it's not your upline, it's your cross line or your downline, right? We look for people that are serious about that, that have the discipline to like not say something because it's very easy. Misery loves company, would you agree? Yeah. When you see people gossiping, do you ever see one person on their own gossiping? No, they love the other gossiper. They love talking about, <clears throat> did you hear what that person did? Did you hear about this? It's, it's what happens in every job. You need it, we need to eliminate that here. <clears throat> did you hear in Cali this, this or that? Or, oh, the energy in the office is, is, is more fake because, yeah, we just, we just promoted two companies. Two companies were just birthed out of this one. Like, that means two owners plus, plus four to five top, like, almost owners people. Does that, should that be noticed in a company with 50 employees like ours? Yes. Is the energy gonna be, like, dialed down to what it really would look like without those people? Absolutely. So you can say it's fake or, or, or artificial, or you can be like, hey, dude, it's a little artificial. What can I do about it? How am I responsible? Newburn, the office is gonna still promote somebody. Do I wanna be in that team? or not. It's not that difficult, man. And I think a, a, a thing that costs no money, that it's absolutely free for you guys that are growing and they want to grow, that we value, by the way, we will always have your back, whether it's financially, with, with, with anything, we will always have your back. Because would you not have the back of somebody that's the most grateful person? If it was you? Just know that what, what I do, what we do in the office as, as, the, as the owner, and what, is, is what we expect you to do as the owner later. Does that make sense? So all we try to do is mirror the behavior. So you can always say like, what should I do? If you never, if you don't know the answer of something you should do, then you can, you can always think, well, I should do what Richard's doing. I should do what Richard would do. That's our goal. That's how we mirror the behavior. That's why Samuel came in and, I, and he knows I love him. I, I, we paid, not, I'm not gonna say me, but the, as a company for a lot of medical stuff that he wanted to, outside of his paycheck because we love him. Because I, I hate when people don't have money for their health. And this, this country does have that wrong. 
and I ha and, I, and he asked me to talk to me, and I wanted to talk to him, but I have to say no because I'm teaching Wade how to run the business. And I'm teaching Wade like, hey, you have 25, 30 people that are happy, and one that needs your attention that is sad. It's typically the sad one that needs your attention. You have to say no. It breaks my heart. I texted him right after. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. I want to talk to you. You gotta understand, like, 25 happy people do not deserve to be paid attention less because one of them is sad. No matter, even if like something crazy bad is happening, does that make sense? Would you guys think that's fair? Yeah. It's a really hard decision to make. Does that make sense? Yes. What I'm gonna do it is teaching Wade the business. But you cannot, like this is a sacred time, it's a sacred place. I can't be telling people to be happy and positive and then me go and talk to the sad guy, you know what I mean? And again, Samuel will be fine, I, I love him to death, I think he'll be fine. I was that person a lot of times. We, we teach people to do that. Like, hey, when you're in the field, you have two options. You can talk about how hot it is. Like talking solves it, by the way. Does it solve it? No. What does it do when you talk about it? It just, ver it just verbalizes something that is obvious, that everyone knows. So it, does, it only does nothing good. We all know it's hot. We all know it sucks. Like, hey, do, if, uh, do you know a job that doesn't suck? Yeah. Please tell me, is there a job that doesn't suck? I'm sure there is. So but why do we not do that one then? Hey, our, the reason we're doing this one is because of, of what it comes later. We all know. The opportunity, yeah. <laughs> so like, hey, it's, and, and I'll give you the last secret and I'll wrap it up. I think the secret of the business is learning how to genuinely be grateful for the things that suck the most. If you can be great, imagine a person that's grateful every day. This, this was Danny all the time, which is why he grew so quickly. He was so grateful to be in the field. So grateful. He moved out here. He stayed in a hotel for a week. He only ate sandwiches. He had no money. He's like, Richard, well, I, I don't have any leaders on my team or anything to do, so I'm going to go out on Sunday until you give me interviews. And I did. You're getting interviews. He didn't have much else to do. He was always grateful, always thankful. So what do you think happens to a thankful, a person that is thankful about crumbs? What do you think happens when they get a meal? Ooh. Right? Yeah. So it's this, this, this is what the field is. Like you can be in the field and it's, it's obviously, it is hot. Or you can look at it like this is the last summer. I'm doing this, like this. You started right before the summer, so. <laughs> you know, you wanna start right after, probably finish right before it starts. But if not, like hey, if Alante started in the summer last year, he's an owner today. Tracy started right after the summer was done. He's running an office today. They're thinking about uh, doing the last tour at seven, so they can enjoy California. They can do their own. Th they can do their own thing because they're the boss now. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You guys learn anything from that? Yes. yes. Hey, how do you? How, it's just, <laughs> no, I asked you for volunteer. That was the point of the meeting yeah. to have a visual, but but I do want to ask you guys, like, hey, who here? Because that's what we're looking for. We're looking to invest not only money and resources, but like time into, like we can put knowledge, we can give you money. We can give you money and a base pay in, if you have a bad week. But we can also give you the knowledge that you can be the one that gives the base pays. We, we can do that. We can put that knowledge into your brain. We're looking for that person. And we wanna, we wanna find a person that's grateful, that treats this like it's their own. Because again, I'm looking for people that can mirror the behavior. Right? If you're gonna run your own office, I wanna see how it would look like from here so that I know it's a, a smart decision. You know I spent, I just lost last week, we lost $37,000. Lost, my bank went down $37,000. There's positives and negatives, what's the positive? Could be rolling off expansion. I had $37,000 to lose. Right? <laughs> you can't lose $37,000 if you have zero. Would you agree? What's the, that's the positive, right? The positive is we expand it to two offices. We're gonna exchange that money for reoccurring revenue that comes from Nestle, from overrides, right? Oh, yeah. So I'll get paid in two years from today, every month, thanks to that investment that I put. But it's $37,000, is that not a, a good amount? Yeah. Oh, no. 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 Okay, so if I'm gonna invest $37,000 into Alanti and Tracy, would I not wanna look exactly how it would, before I make the investment, would I not, would you not want to see exactly how it would run <laughs> before you put the money down? Yeah. Or would you just put the money down? No, you wouldn't. 
It's like most people, you wouldn't give me your blazer to rip it up unless it was like a joke, right? So that's what we're looking for is like, hey, how does, you're like, oh, but I don't have nobody on my team, cool. Or I only have one person on my team. So you're telling me that if you had a hundred people and only one showed up, you wouldn't take care of that one person? How does that make any sense? If you were running a dog company and all the dogs hated you, but one loved you, would you just not like the dog because the other ones didn't come? No, you would spend time with this one puppy, right? So this is the same thing. How do you treat the business when you have nobody on your team, when you're growing? And, and, and a way you show that is by taking action. A way you show that is by letting your, let your actions be so loud that your words don't even mean anything. You're actually here doing mock interviews, you're proactively asking for interviews, you're trying to get a good retention, you're trying to be the next person that has three, four people, you wanna take control, you wanna be the car ride leader, you wanna be the level two. You understand this is temporary. There's never been a person that gets promoted to level two, mastermind, assist, and then at some point we tell them, hey please, can you stay as a leader in the field? Yeah. Be in the, leo, in the field forever? Mm. Never. Mm. We would not do that. It doesn't make sense for us too, we look bad. The longer you're in the field, the more bad we look. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. We want to see how you would run it if you had one person, two, ten. I, we want to see it here. How would you treat the office, the notebooks? We find people leave clothes in the bathroom. I'm like, dude, pay attention to stuff. Hey, do you pay for drinks? The fact that you don't pay for a drink, to, to you might not, 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 might not be something big. But if you cannot pay for a drink, you cannot pay $3 for something that you're consuming, how am I supposed to put you in charge of people's paychecks that you're supposed to pay them every week? You see how big that is? I would never do that to you because those people wouldn't deserve it. Does that make, does that make sense? Wouldn't trust you that that would, that would, that would suck for those people, right? So uh, that's it. Just want you guys like, hey, the company does bonuses, take advantage. Nobody, when we say extra mile, we don't, we don't want people working at 10 o'clock at night, we don't. It's just like, it's the mindset. Like, do you extra mile because you do it for yourself? What would you do if you were the owner? Okay. Some of you guys don't know, but like the same, year, same month next year, your pay has tripled or quadrupled. So if you're not able to be thankful for $500 for $1,000 a week or whatever, small check, normal employee check you're making, 50,000, 60,000 a year. If you're not able to be very, very grateful, save money from that. Um, be thankful for the opportunity that you have something where you can grow. You know, this is people that say, oh, Richard, well, the business is a scam. Uh, there's people that say that, right? Like this is a, a pyramid that the guy at the top makes all this money. The guy at the top, people think about the guy at the top like this like shysty guy, right? <laughs> that like takes money away from people. That guy would never make it in the business. Would that guy ever ever grow to level two? No. He would never make it. Would you agree? Who would follow, would you follow that person? No. no, who do you follow? You guys are following somebody that's going somewhere that cares for you, right? Whoever is your upline, whoever is your coach. Who is the pyramid, is the pyramid. Did you look at what the company you work for? Like it's not, like it's just as simple as it is just not true. I, as a matter of fact, this is probably the, this is the only business I know where like every single one of you guys could be a manager tomorrow and we would still have room. All of you guys could make it to the top and be that guy, that weird shysty guy or girl. By the way, did you know there's more female owners in the business that there is guys? The girls run this thing. You guys, need to, you guys need to connect with, ladies you need to connect with female owners that also went through the same struggles and emotional stuff people with kids, with no kids, single, married, you know, you can connect with them. But everybody could be at the top. Everybody would be in a city do, being a manager right now, tomorrow, and we would still have to hire people the next day. We would still need space. You guys could all make it as hard as that sounds. So you tell me where you can do that. And what company can you start in the next? And everybody in the staff could be the general manager and make general manager pay. I don't know any job that that happens. Which is why I was grateful. I was grateful, but I was not an idiot. I was also in the field, I was always running. My, my new guy would ask me, why are you running so much? Dude, I'm running away from the field. That's why I'm running, because I don't want to stay in this position forever, so I don't want you even to think that I'm just running, that I'm just hanging out in the field today. 
I'm never hanging out in the field. I'm going in the field to do a task. I'm losing weight. I'm running. I'm serious. I'm running. People are, I, to the point people would ask me, why are you running? I'm like, dude, I'm running away from level one to two. From level two to mastermind. I'm running away from the position. You're walking, so who do you think is going to get out of the position faster? Just, just, just math, right? I was grateful. I was grateful, but I was still running. I was grateful and intense. You can do both. I was, you can be grateful and you can still take a lot of action. So think about that today. Does anybody, you guys think you can use it? Yeah. 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 You can take that. Cool. Oh, yeah. We're going to go on break. It's 11.48. We're going to be back at 12.15. Yeah. For break. One, two, three. Break. break.